Hey there, and thanks for joining me at the Financial Spotlight. I'm Chantrell, and I'm here to give you financial tips and tricks. But today, um, I'm going to talk about the uh, cash envelope <laughs> budgeting system. So um, this is my first time doing an actual cash envelope stuffing because I've never done that before. So I'm just trying to make sure that you guys can see everything. So I'm going to try to stay in this area right here. And this is the binder. So this is my budgeting binder. Um, I have been selling these and they have been going like hotcakes. Thank you guys so much. Whoever has already purchased one, I really appreciate you. They come in this white marble. I also have a black marble and then we have a blue and I'm going to probably add a few colors coming up, maybe a purple, a red, I don't know yet. I'm trying to figure it out. But just to let you know that this is available and I will put the link to uh, this particular product in the description box. And then if you have any questions or concerns or whatever, just put them in the comments and I'll respond. So let's get started with what you came here for because you didn't come here to hear me uh, market. You came here to see me stuff these envelopes. So first we're gonna take out the money and look at this, I love this, this wallet. Anyway, um, <clears throat> and I was supposed to stuff, what was it? I think $1,600, but this is only a thousand. And let's put them all the same. I don't know about you, but I like all of my money going the same way. Kind of like when you go to the bank and they, I don't know if you've ever been to the bank and you deposit cash in, they do this. They put all of the money the same direction. So let me do that first. And also, just to let you know, I don't have any 10s, 5s, or 1s because, of course, I took this out. I, not of course, but I took this out of the ATM. So the ATMs that I go to, they don't give you that. So um, right now, if I have anything that says like 150 or something like that, I'm just going to put in 140 and then I'll add the other $10 later. So that's the money we have. It's all the same. So I don't have to separate it. I'm actually going to put it... Oh, this is awkward. Let me make sure you guys can still see this. So, okay, yeah. All right. So I'm gonna open up my binder, and I actually have my budget. I think I showed you guys this last time. So this is the budget that I use, and it's on a little scraggly piece of paper. But hey, it works for me. And I'm gonna put it right here. And actually. Maybe I'll put it up here so I can see it better. That's my cricket up there. Okay. So this first one will be the summer. Uh, I'll put in money for the summer. Now, remember, I told you when I say summer, it's because I have a child that's in school, the school age, and then I have a child in college. Um, if we want to take summer vacations or anything like that, we will have this money for that. So, I'm sorry about the camera moving. Okay, <clears throat> so we're gonna take this money and I budget 150. And like I said before, I'm only putting in 140 today. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 20, 40. Put it inside your envelope. And then after you put that in the envelope, you actually put, I'm going to put summer here so I know what folder this is going in. And like I said, I was going to just put how much I'm budgeting here. And so today is the 5th. So I'll put the date here and then the amount that I'm adding, I'm only adding 140 and then I'll put that balance there. And then I'll put this in here, actually facing out, so I know how much money is in there. 
I don't think I showed you guys that last time. So see how this is facing out and then you could see the the amounts and everything there. So then you have all your money stuffed in your envelope. Okay, next, investing. So like I told you before, when it comes to investing, I will not be putting any cash in here because I'm not, why would I leave my investment money in my folder, my binders, I mean my envelope. So <laughs> what I will do is I'll put on here how much I am, um, I'm just gonna put an INV, how much I'm going to be investing every month and that's gonna be 150. So today again is the fifth. And I've already put um, the 150 into my uh, investing account. So I'm just going to put an account and that's 150 and it actually is 150. And then I switch it around um, inside of my account. I divide it up into the stocks or bonds uh, that I want to invest in. That's what I put them in there. Okay. For self-care, we're budgeting in $200 for self-care. This is for if you decide, okay, I want to go to the nail shop or the hair salon or I want to do my hair myself and I got to get the products, nails myself, facials, um, massages, whatever it is that you do to care for yourself, this is what this money is for. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. So we're budgeting in $200 for that. And I put the money, did I put the money in this way last time? That's weird because the words are facing that way. No, I put it in the other way. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. <laughs> I have it facing the right way, guys. I don't want it that way. Okay. And then that is self. So I'm just going to put self because the little thing is real small. And we said 200. We said, I said 200. <laughs> and there we go. We have $200 in there. All right. And so again, see how you can see it right there. And how much money you have in there. Again, remember I talked about the savings. I don't have my savings sitting in here. You want your money to make money for you. So do not put your savings, I suggest, do not put your savings in the envelope or just sit it around. I mean, you can, but if you can find an account that gets interest, then you want to put your money in that. So anyway, I already put it in the savings account. So my savings is... Um, I don't even remember how much I budgeted for that. Let's see. Oh, it's actually $400, but it's, uh, I put in two, my husband puts in two. So we're going to put, I'm going to put two here. And if you think that sounds weird, remember what I talked about on the, um, so I made a whole video about co-mingling your money, putting your money together with your spouse. And, uh, yeah, we, we don't, we don't have our money in the same account, but we pay the bills together, but the money, putting the money together is, um, not on my radar for this year. So. That's not something that I'm doing. <laughs> not yet. I might graduate to that, but we'll see. So the savings is here and that's there. So then we have vacation. Now we will be taking a, vac a mini vacation actually coming up this week and um, it's like a staycation actually, but we still need the money for it. Right. And I don't have a budgeting sheet in there. So let me find, here's one. Okay. 
I think I have enough money to go in all of them. Okay. So the for the vacation, we did 200. So let's count that out. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. And put that in there. And you might think that this is tedious. And it kind of is. But at the end of the day, it's going to help you because we will be using this money. Um, I will probably put it on like a card or something and be able to use that on our little mini vacation. So 200, 200. So remember what I told you. You want to put them out, and then this is going to be the total balance. So then next month or next time you put money into your binder, you're going to put the date, and then you're going to add in, and then it's going to go up by however much you added in here. Now, if you're taking money out, like when we go on our vacation, we're going to take money out, right? So I'm going to put the date, and then I'm going to put what we're putting, what I'm taking the money out for. I'm going to subtract that money, and then I'm going to put the balance there. Okay, and then if that went that if I went too fast with that, let me know because then I can explain it a little bit further later. All right, and then next is hmm, I did not have Christmas on my budget list, so we're gonna skip that one for now. We'll come back to that. I definitely have birthdays on here, and we are budgeting two hundred dollars for birthdays. So let's see, one. 20, 40, 60, 82. And the way our family is set up, <laughs> uh, my, we have, um, we have one actual child together and then all of the rest of our children are, um, from either my previous marriage or his, um, but we're, they're still our children. So the birthday situation is crazy because in various months we have multiple birthdays in our family multiple so if we have to do something for someone buy something for them or whatever the case may be gifts whatever uh we're gonna have to take it out of this now and it just doesn't include just have our children it also includes our parents because we try to do for them too for birthdays so anyway and for ourselves for each other <laughs> so this birthday fund is going to come in handy and i probably am gonna have to add more to that but for now we're just gonna say that it is two hundred dollars and two hundred two hundred all right and then again, you're going to put this at the back, facing out, so you know exactly how much you have in there. And then for my business, I actually already spent the money for this. This is gone. So <laughs> I, I don't think I'm going to even do anything here. So um, I would normally put the money in and then take the money out or, you know, deduct the money when I use it. But right now, I have it. I already used the money. It's gone. So let's just skip that one. And let's see what we have. Vehicles and donations. So for vehicles, like I said, this is for when we either have to repair something. Um, maybe we need to get like the registration done, oil change, any of those type of things, new tire, whatever. This is what this little fund is going to be for and that is budgeting uh i put aside a hundred dollars for that so 20 40 60 80 one now while i'm looking let me see how much is left 60 81 20, 40, 60. okay so that's perfect it's right on the money yes that's what i'm talking about okay so then you put the money in again so that's a hundred dollars into the i i put vehicles but because we have cars and trucks so that's why i put vehicles 
and then again we're going I'm just gonna put cars on here because this is a shorter word and we'll put a hundred dollars today is the fifth 100 100 and then like I said before just your paper would be facing out so what I like about these or my binder that I made mm -hmm, to do my own home I like the fact that um, you have the budget sheets with it so that you can budget yourself accordingly every single month and you keep track of it now what I do want to start including so included with this binder too is not only the sheets I mean the cash envelopes you can either um, make them personal for you or you can use the ones that I have um, already made pre-made 11 um, and then it comes with this one of these bejeweled pins so I love this pen it writes so nice and see how it's so pretty um, and it'll come in so there's one in white to go with the white binder and then I have black to go with the black binder of course and then I have blue to go with the blue binder and then whatever other colors I incorporate into it I will have a pin to match the binder okay so our last envelope is donations now with donations I'm talking um, a few things so usually when people think of donations they think go oh, uh, church you know charities and things like that well I also have a few people that I know sometimes are struggling um, and maybe they need they need a couple of dollars to make their rent uh not a couple not two dollars but like sixty dollars to make to finish paying the rent or maybe they are short a little bit on their car note um you know that's to me in my you know for me that's a donation it's and i'm not i'm not writing it off on my taxes or anything like that um because they are not a nonprofit. but to me in my life it is a donation because I'm giving to someone that is in need. And so that's what this this envelope is for. It's not only for us to give for church and, um, you know, other nonprofits, SBCA or whatever else we decide to deposit or to donate to. But it's also for those type of situations where people are in need and they just can't make it. So um, we are budgeting in... $150. This is actually $160. So I'm going to have to go to a bank or something and break this $20 into a $10 and then put that $10 into over there in the um, folder where I had, what was $150? Oh, the summer. Into the summer folder. I'll put that $10 into that summer folder and then I'll put the, the uh, other 10 in this folder and then we'll have the amount so again this is 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 this is 160 and um or actually maybe i'll just put 160 today and then next month i'll put 140 and then I, next month i'll switch it out yeah that's what i'm gonna do because it'll make it easier for me so this is a donations and it's one, my budget is 150, but we're putting in 160 today. Okay. Put that in the back. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep my little sheet that has all my money amounts on there because in all actuality, I have the thing the information here so I don't necessarily have to put it in the binder but I don't know. we'll see so anyway hopefully this helps you on your journey to budgeting and if you have any questions or concerns or whatever leave them in the comment section I will definitely respond like I always do also, so yeah, I'm going to put this in here. Also, if you're interested in the binder, then definitely click on the link in the description box to purchase 
and this is what comes with the binder so let me move this off the way because that's not that doesn't come with the binder so this is what comes with the binder your pen your beautiful binder that's waterproof and has a little gold on the edges and then not the money of course he <laughs> and then your budget worksheets 11 of those depending on how many um, envelopes you want so standard is 11 that I give but I have um, budgeting sheets to go with however many envelopes you purchase or you choose and then the envelopes so 11 envelopes and they're all put I put in however much I mean I put on the words I put your preference of words on there so let me just close these up so if you have any questions like I said make sure you put them in the comments also if you bought one of these leave a little comment and let me know how you like it and if you're interested the link to this will be in the description box thank you for joining me and have a great one bye